A bizarre phenomenon has crept up on me as I've seen a lot of fellas out there complaining that QD OLED monitors are giving them headaches. What? How could this be? Well, yeah, I decided to look into this one, guys, because it's really strange and I've not seen these complaints among any other type of display technology to the degree that people are allegedly claiming it's happening on QD OLED monitors. So, Oftentimes, where there's smoke, there's fire. Let's talk about it. Is this real? Well, I think before we pencil dive into this one, guys, first we got to discuss why I think people are more accepting of the idea that it might give you headaches. And I think it comes down to QD OLED is ultimately derived from blue light, which then goes through a color pass filter and then gets turned from that blue into red, green, and blue. So the idea is, Blue light is allegedly harmful, so therefore, yeah, it's derived from blue light. Of course, it's gonna give you headaches. Who knows, it might even break into your house and steal all your belongings. No, that's not gonna happen, but in any case, yeah, I mean, it makes sense on paper if you subscribe to the theory that blue light is harmful to you. Now, listen, don't take my advice on it. I don't know, do your own research, come to your own conclusions. My opinion on this is that I just don't really think it has enough merits for me to be worried about it. But in any case, that's why people seem to believe that QD OLED definitely could cause problems. Okay, so we've gotten that out of the way. Is it actually causing problems though? Well, first let's start off with some anecdotal evidence. Of course, yeah, okay, anecdotal evidence. How great is this gonna be? Anyway, my experience has been I have not gotten any headaches or additional eye strain from QD OLED monitors and TVs versus any other display technology. It could be projectors, W OLED, LCD, mini LED, whatever. I've never had really any difference between any of these things. I review them all the time. I spend way too many hours looking at these things and it's just never been a problem. So that's why I decided to look into it further because just because I'm not seeing it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So I went ahead and threw up a poll. Some would even say regurgitated it over onto YouTube where 1.5 thousand people responded. I think that's a pretty decent amount and enough for us to come to some sort of a conclusion. And taking a look at the poll here, guys, what you can see is that among these 1,500 different people who responded, well, the results show that, yeah, it's probably not too much of an issue. But according to my poll, it looks like while I did have more people say that they did get headaches from QD OLED versus W OLED, I did not see any more people saying that versus mini LED. Now, I could do another poll about eye strain and maybe we will get more people who claim they get eye strain from QD OLED and maybe headaches isn't necessarily the big problem and maybe I'll cover that in a future short or video or poll, something along those lines. But at least in terms of headaches, it looks like really most people just don't get headaches at all. And of those who do, it's pretty evenly between QD OLED mini LED and W OLED is a little bit less, but maybe that's just because less people have W OLED monitors or TVs, it's hard to say. So there you have it guys. Do I think that QD OLED monitors or TVs will give you greater eye strain, fatigue, headaches, or other symptoms? No. Could it maybe? Sure. But overall, the evidence, both anecdotally as well as from 1.5 thousand other people, is that at least in terms of headaches, probably nothing to be too worried about. And personally, I'm not really worried about eye strain or other fatigue either. But with that out of the way, why do I think that a lot of people are complaining about these new OLED panels? Well, I think it might have to do with them changing the size of their monitor. I think a lot of people are coming from traditional 27 inch monitors or maybe even smaller and they're going up to 32 inch 4K OLEDs or maybe they're just moving from a 32 to a 27, whatever. When you move to a different size and you change the position of where your monitor is relative to your eyeballs, well, that extra distance or bringing it closer, either one will cause you eye strain and possibly headaches for some amount of time as your eyes do need to get adjusted to that new distance and kind of strengthen, I guess you could say, to actually be able to handle that for long periods of time. I mean, you can think of your eyeballs as another muscle. They do need to be kind of worked out. You need to be, yeah, of course, picking up dumbbells with your eyeballs. Please don't do that in order to get used to stuff. So that's what I think is probably the largest culprit to more people complaining about this as I think more people than ever are moving to these monitors all at once as they're a huge upgrade over anything we've had in the past. And thus more people than ever are likely moving to a different size or different distance 
on their desk. But in any case, do you think that is actually the issue? Do you think I'm wrong? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, make sure to get subscribed for everything display related here on the display guy. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.